Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekend Love Tarot reading for February 25th through the 27th. This is Mary. This is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. Wow. Okay. Taurus, let's see what's going on for you. Just say a little look-see at love for you for this weekend. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. Feel free to flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers are welcome. Sorry, your incense is like one big burning flame there. Mm, maybe that means something. Uh, cross watchers are welcome. Actually, could be a reading or messages for you. Please do keep that in mind. So, welcome in, Taurus. Welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know about me in the channel, if you're new, is down below. Your playlists are down there in the description box. If you are new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. You get a weekly reading, which is a little bit longer. And then I do a little bit of a shorter um, weekend love tower reading. So feel free to go to the community tab as well. Lots of polls over there, and I've been posting a daily one as well. All right, Taurus, let's see. Oh, we have Purgatory. Somebody stuck in limbo here. We have Grove, 21, which is 3. 3 is a bit, you know, is about teamwork, collaboration, growth, expansion, coming together in some way, shape, or form. i almost feeling like this is a secret meeting place. Because this can be... Um, I don't have the little book here, but the Grove is like a, uh, a place to go where it's like a... It could be a special place just for yourself where you go to like a little place in your garden, in your backyard, or in your home where it's very secluded and it's private and it's just for you. I'm almost, um, but I'm kind of seeing the bench here and uh, we have a cat kind of there, but I'm almost feeling like it's kind of like a secret meeting place. Hmm. And we have failure. I just, just got this for, um, what sign did I just do? Aquarius. So I think I'm going to pull you one more because I really don't like it when I have a repeating card from a previous reading. So I'm just going to show you here. I'm just going to pick one. Oh, and we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So I kind of feel like here somebody, I'm kind of feeling like it could be like a very stuck energy in limbo maybe a very secretive relationship, meeting in secret, feeling like it's not going anywhere. Um, it, it's kind of like, kind of like a failure. So somebody could feel feel a little down on themselves, like, you know what, I, I'm better than this. So I feel like there could be an ending here to a very stuck situation where it could, been, could have been uh, very secretive as well. And with the cat there, that is a very, um, cat is a very spiritual, intuitive kind of energy as well. So somebody could finally be listening to their intuition about the situation as well. So let's see, Taurus, what is going on? So either, you know, putting an end to this will either transform or it'll just be the end. But let's see where this is going. Five of Wands. A lot of conflict about this. So somebody could have been very, very conflicted about doing this. Page of Earth. Uh, this is Capricorn or it could be you. Taurus, so hmm. Ace of Air. So this is kind of like uh, putting it all out on the table, honest, truthful communication. Nine of Pentacles, single energy. So some may be deciding here, you know what? Uh, maybe I'm just better off to be single because I feel like I'm single anyway. Hmm. All right, what else here? For Taurus. Four of Wands. Some may be wanting to like settle down, get married, be in a commitment. For Fire, Four of Wands is like a, it could be dating, getting to know, but it also could be marriage, commitment, stable ground and home life, ceremony celebrations. It's my soulmate twin flame card, but it does not have to be. Um, what else here? I feel like somebody definitely wants to settle down here. If somebody is conflicted, Ace of Swords is like, okay, I'm coming in with truth and clarity messenger of water so that's the knight of cups that is about also forward movement in love world so closing cycle new cycle starting could be traveling or distance at play 
could have been an online connection as well. But we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. We have Mes uh, Knight of Water could be Scorpio or uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this page of Earth is you, Taurus. Maybe you've been very, very conflicted about setting the record straight. It could be that it changes things here. Um, Six of Cups. That is about, you know, returning. So if you put up a boundary and said, look, you know, unless we close this chapter on how this connection is going, I'm done. Um, we do see a return here with the Six of Cups. Nine of Fire. Yeah, that's a setting the healthy boundary like I felt as well. But let's um, clarify. All right, I didn't ask yet. All right, so we do have the Eight of Cups. Definitely walking away from that stuck feeling. No more. What is the Grove? Nine of Fire. Yeah, again, putting up that healthy boundary. Death, Six of Wands. See, somehow ending this will make it become successful. If that sounds crazy, but let's see. Ew, piece of hair in my mouth. Page of Fire, communication. I feel like you may hear from this person. They may return and say, I know I failed you. Um, Sagittarius energy here or another fire sign. So Six of Cups, that's about returning. So let's see what the energy, returning energy is like. Empress, wow. <laughs> They're returning like, I'm, you know, I know I kept us stuck, kept it kind of secretive. Or they kept their feelings secret. And somehow putting like an ending to this actually transforms it. That is, yep, that's kind of what I feel here. Libra Taurus with the Empress Divine Feminine Energy. Knowing, you know, value and worth here. Could be coming in for commitment now. This is uh, you, Taurus. Higher levels in all forms. Six of Swords. See, definitely I feel like here, somebody moved on here. Knight of Swords very quickly. Like, it was just like, whew, <laughs> chopping block, whew, doom, done. And I feel like somebody here, like, just can't believe it now. Knight of Pentacles, knowing somebody here took a very long time. That is Taurus energy as well. Call, so you may be receiving a call here, judgment call here, Scorpio energy. Seven of Pentacles. There's been some investments here. Tower, someone's getting a wake-up call here, Aries energy. So... I feel like here, um, Taurus, it could be you, it could be them. Somebody was conflicted about communicating, look, you know, uh, I want something stable here or a stable offer. Being very blunt, honest, open. I want commitment, relationship, whatever it was here. And if that's, if this is going to continue to feel like it's a secretive, stuck relationship, then I'm done. I'd just rather be single. And somehow this successfully transforms the connection. So I feel like communication is coming in. Could be stepping up here for higher things could be changing. Maybe now moving forward in love. Hmm, interesting. So someone is definitely walking away here. The higher fit can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up in all forms, you know, standards, values, tradition. All right. Learning, growing, faith, hope, religion, spirituality. All right. Let's see. Taurus, let's get you some advice and guidance here. Taurus. Past, through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Oh, my God. So kind of leaving in. This could have been even a past situation. Integrity, you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Knowing that this wasn't of integrity and kind of leaving it in the past, but it could be coming back around because Six of Cups here is about something from the past. Past person coming back around. Wow. All right. Harmony, you are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. It could be, um, it could be a very harmonious energy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're feeling at peace, harmonious, and all of a sudden they come back and you're like, oh my God. Tolerance, you appreciate others' points of view because you sense the love in everyone. But I don't think you're going to tolerate a lot. 
unless they take responsibility for their actions. Yep, they need to express themselves. Communication, Ace of Swords, that could be what's coming in as well. But you're not going to tolerate this past behavior. So they either really have to change, prove it, or uh, you're going to continue to be single here. But definitely someone from the past is returning here. Wow. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. It resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly appreciated. Don't forget to check out your um, monthly readings. They're all out as well. Well, your February readings, rather. And uh, go to the community tab to vote on the polls as well. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.